Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Funky Steve's Medinas. So today we've got a mission we got to take, um, but just to let you know, uh, just between episodes, once I got everything fixed up, um, we dropped in the NSS that we got into the Mjolnir, um, just so that it's much harder to hit now, because um, it does have those four PPCs, people like to target this guy, so... Um, and it is slow, so at least it's going to give us a little bit extra protection. We had the the space to put it. We've got space in the Victor too, um, so we got another one. We're going to definitely be dropping one in here as well. Um, but let's have a look here at our contracts that we're going to do. Um, I'm hopefully we can pull off two today, but we'll see. We've got uh, coupe here, so a group of pilots from the planetary government have issued a direct challenge versus us and they've got advanced equipment so we're going to take this mission see what we can get out of this now we're going to go full salvage 124,000 should just cover our drop cost but probably not repairs uh, it is a two skull mission and we're going to bring saint in but we're going to put her in the bushwhacker and we're going to put hellcat in the mule and we're going to deploy this sucker and get this thing done command interface initiated Okay, so this is a pretty good map to be doing some fighting on. Okay, let's do this. So the thing about this map is it offers lots of protection, lots of cover from direct fire, uh, especially for from mechs at a distance. So the one thing I'd like to do with this map, I'm sh I've showed it in the past, but I'm sure um, for those people who haven't seen those earlier episodes, um, I like to move off to the left here to start. If you move up the center, there's all this unstable ground, and I mean, yes, there is this hill, but here there's this nice long kind of alleyway that runs down the back here between the hills, and there's places that you can come out here. There's a nice place on the hill to hit, sit with uh, with trees and stuff for protection. So usually there's a mech that sits right down here. If you can kill him fast enough, you basically own this whole back alleyway, and then you can just kind of push your way out here and destroy the enemy. And it's good for pop, kind of popping out, shooting, and popping back in. So that's why I like running that side. Ready for order. Um, also, just a side note too. Um, no I've been preparing things for my next Rogue Tech series, which is going to be completely in the newest version of Rogue Tech. It's got all the new models. Well, yes, it's the commander. same version as this one. It's got all the new models downloaded and everything. But uh, we're going to be starting right from the very beginning. Um, just to show people the gameplay when you first start out. Um, I've already got it mapped out what I'm planning on doing with that series, so we're ready to go with that. Uh, as uh, Rogue Tech Cold Forge is slowly coming to a close, we've got about, I think, five more episodes to go. Um, the next series will be starting up. Now, I'm planning on starting it this Saturday or Sunday. That uh, will be the release of the first episode, and it will be up and running as the Cold Forge series winds, it, winds its way down to its conclusion. So, just keep your eye open for that. Hopefully it should be fun. It's going to be exploring this new Rogue Tech system kind of from the start, from the ground up. We're going to make it just as difficult as I normally do. So eight pieces of salvage. We're not going to be choosing mech salvage. Um, we'll be just choosing weapons and equipment to outfit our mechs. And then whatever mechs we end up getting um, as extra salvage, we'll be taking those. Double time. Let's go. And turning them into something good, hopefully like we've been doing with uh, the other series, Porcupine, 21% chance. Mm, no, I think we'll wait. We'll just wait. But yeah, as I was saying, I've got most of the stuff already set up and ready to go with that. I already know my Lance. Um, Lance composition, where we're starting, obviously since I've already loaded into the game. Um, but I will, okay, Goblin, nice. I will be, um, I will be, um, sort of starting it out from, like, right from the very start just to show you the settings and stuff. And I'll be using the first episode as kind of, um, sort of a road tech training episode, I guess. Sort of starting the game for new players. Receiving you. Alright, so, this is what I mean by controlling this alleyway here. Let's get into here. Don't quite have eyes on this guy yet. We'll fire and shoot at him with... Well, we're going to leave the small laser off just for heat management, but we'll fire everything else. So the goblin's, goblin's got an XL engine, I believe. Waiting 
for orders. Okay, so if you've got a, a guy that can sensor lock, rather than positioning yourself where he can be seen, just stay behind something when you sensor lock. Got a lock. Sure, but we can't see him. Phoenix Hawk, okay. Can we get up there? We can't get up there with the mule near. No! I went one turn too early. That's alright. We'll make up for it. See what he's going to do here. They got reinforcements. Because they're cheaters! Um. Yeah, it's just far straight out. Damn, we missed with the thunderbolt. Order. Let's not get like that. Let's do this though. Mag shots, laser cutters. 128 melee damage, so we do not want this guy to be meleeing us. Oh, missed with the two important ones. Another melee mech. Waiting for orders. Copy. I'm picking up a new sensor trace. Looks like enemy reinforcements. Supposed to be one lance, guys. Supposed to be one lance. Engaging with target. Really just trying to push this guy back a turn. And why isn't it doing that? It should be. So, definitely Warlord. And we'll fire everything on this guy. Let's see what he does here. Friggin' cheaters. Just gonna shoot the one mag shot, huh? It's not gonna save you. Okay, wolf hound. Javelin, Wolverine. Yes, Commander. This was supposed to be one lance. Let's they forgot to mention it was more than one lance. Well, twenty-nine, fifty-one percent chance. I'm not going to risk it. Not yet. Well. Yeah, I think we'll be all right. Damn, missed by one percent. That's a miss. Story of my life. He's gonna melee crap. Don't hit. Damn you. Took a hard hit there. Crap. 
Well, he turned his back to my uh, guy here, so. Doesn't have any evasion. At least it's not showing up. Why is the evasion not showing up? Okay, looks like he's using up a lot of his uh, consumables. What's up, boss? Taking the shot. I was really hoping I wouldn't have to use more than one mech on that guy. Uh, gotta shoot him from the front. Let's hope we kill this guy. Acknowledge. Come on, hit him with something. Critical hit, Commander. It's not even going down, huh? Crap. Not much armor left in that location. So they said they had one lance, so they have two, so they're cheating. Why can't we drop a second lance? Well, other than the fact that we don't have one. We do have one more mech though. We got the Centurion we could drop. Make it that would make a difference. I'm here. Ten four. Start on this guy. Engaging target. Ready for orders. Can you actually move? Or are you trapped there? No, you can't move. We don't really need to, though. Uh, let's go this route. Okay, it's him gone. Nice hit. Taka taka taka. My armor is getting stripped off. Standing by. Roger that. Full speed. Moving into some cover. So controlled in the location that we do. If they all come at once, we'd be in trouble, but they generally don't. Receiving. So it's leaving, if you notice, it's leaving their, um, their sight, like, like it leaves them completely blind. Standing back here, you can just choose your angles and finish them off relatively easily. So we're going to dump everything into this guy. Confirm. Ooh, head hit. What do we hit his head with though? That's what I want to know. Hmm. Medium looks like. 25 damage. Good in the PPC. Or large laser probably. Come on, you want to run away. Oh, that's even better. Just move forward, buddy. Appreciate the help.
Okay, Rhino's next. For us, that is. They are slowly closing in. She's taking a lot of left side damage. Truck fire this guy. Oh, you missed the game with that thing? Two more turns when we all the cool down. Fire in three. Nice. Reporting critical hit. So that should push him back a turn. We should be able to finish this guy up, hopefully. Standing by. Um Let's minimize who can see us. Get right down in front of them. On my way. Double time. See, once again, we're just kind of really milking the uh, the terrain here. Locking in all weapons. He's lost evasive now. Oh, it's his turn though. Ugh, 47. But he's pretty much sacrificed himself at that point now. God, these models are so nice. Good to go. Once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So much thank yous to the uh, Rogue Tech team. And the people specifically that, that ported over all the models. Oh my god, thank you so much. They're Sorry amazing. Hey guys, if you uh, think about it, if you guys are playing Rotec, let me know in the comment section down below what model you think that you've been playing with so far, the new ones that you've seen. Which one you think looks the best? Well, there's all the consumables. He's being a real asshole now. Look at that. It's okay, I got four PPCs for you, buddy. Well, three, four after the turn after that. Comes the Wolfhound. This guy's looking really dark. I'm sure they'll be able to get it, get them uh, working a little better soon. There's several that I've seen that look pretty cool. Moon walking. The javelin. You know, they've got the javelin nailed down here. I mean, the helmet looks ridiculous. Looks like a like one of those uh, Star Wars. Um, droids from uh, um, Tatooine, but uh, other than that, um, if I do this, I have to kill this porcupine, or I could blow to the side of the griffin. So let's move here, move order received. partially for cover. So this guy's got what kind of armor in the back here, I have no idea, 50, 60, two and fifty. It's a lot. This guy's got what left on this side here? Not much. Oh, his CT's almost gone. So let's multi-target this out. A and B. Um, and we'll put one PPC on each. And fire. Split fire. Confirmed. Nice. Critical hit, Commander. Wait a minute, left arm? Oh, okay, never mind. Waiting for orders. I'm not going to argue that. Oh, right, because I was on the wrong side. Okay, that makes more sense. Alright, everything into the back of this guy. He's not going to last. Oh, you did last. My god. That hit something good. Oh my god, he's got like a handful left. 24 damage. 
Now I think this guy's got... I think he's got Solaris Spikes, and I think he's got like Triple Strength Myomars, things like that, right? So he's got some pretty good shiz. Ready for orders. Um, let's play this game, Rock. Roger that. He's still got lots of armor, so we're okay here. Heat-wise, we're fine. Let's just fire everything on him. I don't know whether the AI just doesn't know what to do in this alleyway or what it is, but like I said, this is just really the best place. This is the place you do your fighting, right in here, right? There's plenty of little nooks and crannies you can hide in. You got heights if you want to go up on the, on the heights. If you have a missile mech, you can just sit back here or you can go into the uh, mineral field. It's a good place on this map to just kind of sit. Um, let's get into here. Location confirmed. Yeah, let's make sure we kill this guy. We'll hit him with everything. Copy that. There we go. Hostile eliminated. Now we're only getting two of eight salvage, so I'm not worried about completely blowing stuff up. There's gonna be lots of good stuff to choose from, I imagine. And it's unlikely that we're gonna be choosing mech parts, so. Okay, who's our next target here? Probably the fire starter? Yeah, because he's shooting. He's got two ER mediums. These are ER mediums, flamers probably. Alright, Rock. Um, this guy's braced, so we're not going to target a braced guy. Keeping the left side turn because the right side's damaged. Position confirmed. Just get it right in here and let's unload on this guy. Nice. I'm not getting any head hits with these machine guns. I'm here. Um, I may, like I said, I may flush them out. Good chances to hit. Let's move in. Aye. Time to Warlord. Target this guy, let's make sure we get rid of him. Hit him with everything. Okay, left torso. He's got six health. So they got good pilots. You should have called the Wolfhound the Black Panther, because that's kind of what it, that's what he looks like. Bing. Alright, finish this guy up. Wow. It's going down though. Which means we, can, we can't finish him up. Receiving you. Let's just move here. Moving to position. And we're going to multi target. Thunderbolt to B. Oh yeah, nice. Bye. Oh, he's still alive. Really? Guy's taking massive punishment. He's still going. Oh, someone coming in for a death attack. 47. Yeah, Wolverines are pretty good with melee, I guess. Um, moving out. Hmm. Yeah, do that, fire everything else. Okay, he's unsteady. Stability back, everything into his side. That's a kill. He's just taking a bit of a dirt nap.
trying to make us they're trying to make us make a mistake here. The one thing I will say though, this game has made me have a lot more patience now. Normally I would I would just choose and rush in and I had no problem with that. Um, but right now you really can't do that. Not without getting your ass handed to you. Waiting for orders. Let's get down here. Hmm. Something like that, I think. Okay, target this guy. And I think it's the ER large that has the most heat. Like, this guy's still got his full CT. Uh, let's just shoot the two ER mediums, then we can go full out next turn. Um, see if we can take his leg. Okay, one hit. Oh, okay, we got the leg. Nice. Hope we can salvage that. So it's just a couple guys left now. I'm not sure which of these two guys was from the original Lance. I think it's this guy here, the Wolfhound. Either way, he hasn't engaged until this moment, so... Um, not sure what he was up to. Really want to make sure, limit the amount of damage on my one side there. Coordinates received. Yeah, fire. We can take his arm off. That's where his large is. Yeah. That hit something good. Unsettled, eh? Really. Okay. Receiving you. Kind of overheating with this guy. The ATMs definitely do the most damage, or the MMLs, I mean, at this range. Eight times five. So we're gonna fire everything. Well, fire all those, that is. Yeah, there you go. One last target. Waiting for orders. Confirmed. Don't think we can fire all the PPCs. We one of the torso matter ones off. Fire the rest. Copy that, Commander. That hit something good. Yes, Commander. Yeah, these guys basically committed suicide. Moving to position. I was concerned with the sheer numbers of them, but now it's like. If they had swarmed us, we would have lost for sure. Target eliminated. Okay, contract in payment increased by 20%, so we did get some C-bills. It's not going to cover our repairs, I don't think. Uh, simply because of the victor's arm. But the rest of the stuff, we did pretty well overall. Bush Rocket took a little bit of damage, sort of the hunchback, but... You know, we did really well overall. Having the NSS and the Mjolnir too, uh, they didn't really target it as much. So let's see if we can find some NSS's or stealth stuff, or anything that we can use here. It's gonna go past all that. And let's go straight down to the good stuff. So they got a Beagle Probe. I think we've already got one of these, don't we? We do, we haven't just used it yet. They do have Claws. Uh, that's a good possibility, because we were talking about um, making a melee mech. We do have a few things, but not a lot. Uh, ECMs. What's the difference between this ECM? One strength electronic countermeasure suite. One evasion pips for movement. Pose the penalty to sensor checks. 150 radius of the ECM bubble jamming enemies and protecting friendlies against sensor checks. That's pretty damn good. Having a bubble defense, that's, that's really good. Pose a penalty of 380. This is the same thing. It's a Guardian, so the Guardian's better. I see, so they must all have that then. So the Guardian's definitely better. Cooling pod. Double heatsink kit, which you don't need. 
Wow, they got nothing. Supercharger. Virtual reality piloting pod? Plus one accuracy with ranged weapons, plus two initiative, plus two maximum evasion pips, plus two evasion pips gained from movement. Take pilot damage and overheat. Virtual reality piloting pod enhances the capabilities of DNI or EI cockpits. Oh my god, we're going to take that. And I think we're going to get rid of the uh, that Guardian Sweep, but we want to take the um, Supercharger. These things are generally relatively hard to find, I think. Oh no, I'm not thinking Supercharger. I'm thinking about um, uh, the other one. What's the other one? The Mask System is the one we want. Um, slick Sweep, Increased Sensor and Sight Range. Injury Resist, plus two Initiative. I think maybe we're going to go back. Cooling pods are nice, but I think we want the Guardian ECM. We don't have any right now. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't really as good as stuff as I thought there was going to be, but we'll take it. Okay, Goblin Parts, Wolfhound Part, AC5, Flamer Triple Plus. Yeah, that's kind of okay. Case. Wow, we got ripped off. Alright, no neighbor system in the factions control, no big deal. Oh, 89,000. Okay, so that's less than what I thought it was going to... Well, no, it's a little bit over, I think. Right, because we made 70,000 or something. So marginally over, 25 days for repairs. Isn't that bad overall? It'll be better when we get that third mech bay up and running. So let's have a look at our days to repair here. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. So let's move this guy up and the Victor up. Get these guys done. Doesn't matter. These guys will these guys will all finish in eleven days and then these two will be in. So that's pretty good. Pretty good. Let's close this out. Um, let's have a look here. Um, something we can do right away. So let's just quickly jump well. Let's wait 11 days, right? If we wait 11 days, we have everything back. We don't. Do we have anything else we can do here? Yeah, there's a lot of low-end stuff here. But is there really anything we want? Target acquisition, steal the prototype, to capture base mission. Pretty good payout, though. Pretty good payout, and we need it before the financial report. So let's go, let's do this one real quick. So let's repair the mechs. I think we can easily do that. Steve will be back, which will be nice. Um, send Kerberos for a month. Plus two medical points, bonus points for 30 days. She's gone for a bit, but that's fine because she's not in battle right now. Okay, so we've got... A Lance available. Let's have a look at the mech bay just to make sure. So we have the Centurion. Right? It's only got the little thing on it because we're missing a a um, little bit of armor or something. So we've got two Thunderbolt 10s, LRM, medium laser. So not bad. The Agar mech still needs to be fixed. Hunchback. Yeah, so I think we're fine with this one. So let's go to the command center, do the contracts, and it is um, the capture of the base mission, so this should be, I think, not a problem. So let's negotiate this. I'm going to go this route, and let's bring in the Centurion. Let's bring Saint out, Hellcat over. We're going to swap the Centurion and the Hunchback around. I want the better shot on the Hunchback. Then let's bring Steve back in and deploy and get this sucker done. Centurion, yeah, I know. It's only got like a fraction of a tonnage unused. Command interface initiated. Okay, this one we know is a couple of lances we have to face. Uh, there might be turrets. We'll find out shortly. So as our mon monetary situation sl slowly begins to rectify itself, um, we're going to get that second lance up and running. So I'm thinking that uh, the Wolverine that we have in storage will bring forward again. Maybe next episode. 
we're getting to a point now where I think we're where we kind of need to have that second lance running. We need a lance to go uh, grab us some gear, and then we need another lance to uh, um, grab us some sea bills. What's up, boss? What's up, boss? Okay, going full throttle. Okay, so it's just turrets. I'm here. As long as they don't have uh, All right. range turrets, we need to go full speed to make sure we get as much evasion as possible. Waiting for orders. I copy. Okay, we do have ranged, so we can be firing. What's the chance to hit? Pretty good. Heavy turret chassis, 100 tons. Two LRM-20s, two LRM-10s. So let's fire on that one. Wow, those two missed. Standing by. On my way. Double time. Come on, make sure you hit, buddy. God damn it. Reporting negative damage. It's going to be three turns before I can get direct fire with the PPCs. I've been sensor locked. Yeah, here comes the missiles. Hunchback should be able to get eyes on that turret. Oh. Internal structure damage. Again, I have no idea what turret that was. Waiting for orders. That's the one right there. Firing everything on it. Okay, pretty good start. Receiving you. Copy that. Gonna stay stable. Better chances to hit. Gonna fire. God, you missed again with the, one of those things. Even with an NSS and we've only got three chevrons of evasion? How is that possible? Understood. Moving fast. Let's hope we hit. Oh my god, again? Damn it. Gonna get us killed. Gonna get us freaking killed. Another 100 point damage hit. Order. Hit the fucking turret. Okay, that says direct fire, but it's not. That is. On the move. Confirmed. Gone. I'm receiving you. Oh boy. Can't even vigilance. Taking a chance doing this, but uh I think we have to. Okay. Commander. Let's give him somebody else to shoot for. Got it. Got a max damage on this turret. Copy that. Not quite enough, eh? Uh, guy's got long range direct fire. That guy's a short range turret, okay. 
Can you? No, we can't see anything. Need a bigger engine. Need bigger something. They've got a lock on me. Okay, well at least they're shooting at her. She's got lots of armor. Systems holding. Okay, the alarm turret didn't fire. Commander. I guess it did the sensor locking. What do you got left here? Not much. Um, let's just fire everything on this back turret. Let's get started on it. I'm here. Let's just get down to a point where. Yeah, I know. Thank you. Oh, really? The turrets might be online? Couldn't tell. Going this route. Fire in. Just firing with both of those, just want to make sure we destroy it. Okay, nice. Ready for orders. On the move. Full speed. Okay, how much has this guy got left here? No real idea. Not a lot. This is a heavy turret chassis too. So let's multi-target this out. Something like that, I think. Just in case. Let's use the big one on A. Just to make sure. And we should be able to finish that, if we can actually see it, yeah. I was going to say we can, should be able to finish that turret up. Okay, nice. Took two big Thunderbolt 20 hits. Maybe it shows up in the loot table, wouldn't that be nice? Let's get down here, please. Um, yeah, I don't... I'm not sure what we're going to be up against once we pop this. So let's get ourselves into a position where we can defend relatively well. So there's a way to do this one too. It can be tricky um, because this is all open area here. And what happens is when the reinforcements come here, two of them come from here and two come from up here. So there's two ways to do this. One, you can kind of come up here and wait for these guys, kill them, and then kill the guys down here. Or if you're not sure how tough they're going to be, like if it's a 100-ton mech or whatever, they could do some significant damage to you. Or you could hide along the wall here um, until you can figure out what they are. Target these guys first from distance and then hit these guys. Yes, Which I think we might attempt to do that one this time. Just because, like I said, I have no idea what we're up against. Yes, Commander. Um. Confirm. Holding and cooling. Confirmed. So this Centurion is underwhelming with what it's got on it right now. Holding here. All right, Steve. Let's get over here. Okay, I think we're ready to pop this thing now. Up, oh, never mind. Got and it looks like we got vehicles, so we're all right. Order. Um, still want to keep moving. Hunter, hunter. Winston. Let's target this hunter, see if we can finish it up. 39%. Alright, one down. Vehicle down. Uh-huh. I'm receiving you. Move order received. Gonna activate this base, might as well. 
All right, so we were just playing it safe there. Unfortunately, we're not going to get some good salvage out of this mission. Commander. Uh, don't need to do too much here. Let's see if we can hit this guy firing. Oh, nice hit. Um, no point in moving out unless we have to. We can do the range damage on these guys. They're not really shooting back, they're fleeing. What's up, boss? Copy that. Seventeen, nineteen. That's a better chance to hit with fire on this guy. Standing by. All right, can we get eyes? Yepper. All right. We got the eyes. We got the range, and the firepower. Let's warlord this up. Give us a better chance to hit, increase our damage. See if I can get on the fun over here. Receiving you. Planner roll 20. Let's fire it up. Ah. That's a miss. Sure was. Rotate our trajectory a little bit here. Get some chevrons. They've got a sensor lock on me. Screw you and your sensor lock, buddy. So there's another vehicle back there. Oh, they finally got a missile launcher coming in. He's got missiles too. Yes, Commander. That's far on that guy. Waiting for orders. Come on, let's kill this guy. We've already done enough damage to us. Jesus. Fulcrum 2, eh? So I really hope this game doesn't degenerate into just like long range artillery firing. For a while there it was all about the brawl bots and now it's slowly getting to the long range art artillery firing. Hope it doesn't go that route but no way to know for sure. Sixty-four out oh, fire. God, we're hitting everywhere we <laughs> I think that was a front hit. Position confirmed. Commander. Roger that. Okay, let's see if we can kill this. Uh, that's a really bad chance to hit. Far against the Winston again. Jesus, man. Commander. 
Light damage. Yeah, we should have waited up there. How much we can do about it now, though? Yes, Commander. Acknowledged. Targeting for an alpha strike. Oh my god. We're gonna strip all his armor off him first. Oh buddy, if I can tell you your next turn you're dead meat. Okay, got eyes on now. Locking on target. Nice. Reporting one less vehicle. Wrecked him. Damn near killed him. Orders. Heading out. Oh, good chance to hit there. Obviously, the better chance you have to, that you can see them, the better damage you're going to do, so. Come on. Hopefully, the mule near goes next. Receiving you. Uh, 70, 29, well let's take the 70, let's just pelt this guy, goodbye. Vehicle trashed. No point in even moving. Steve is coming for you. Full crumb, I'm coming for you. God, it takes so long now. What's up, boss? Roger. Is he in a mineral field? Looks like he's in a mineral field there. On it. Ready for orders. Come on. I think he's in a mineral field. Oh my god. Be there next turn. I bet he's dead before that. <laughs> it would figure. Unless he comes out to fight. Come on, buddy. There you go. He'll die before I get to shoot him. Steal my kill, aren't you, Hellcat? Gonna steal the kill. Cause you know I would. It's not about who gets the kill, it's about as long as all your targets are destroyed. It's the most important thing. Yeah, you know I'm coming for you. Okay, folks, let's do this thing. There you go. Let's go home, guys. Let's loot this place and go home. Mission successful. So here I thought the matches would be a lot faster because you know being able to see your opponents, but it really isn't. Um, contract payment increased by 10%, 718,000, that's our financial report pretty much right there. But we have to take our repairs off that because we almost lost an arm in the uh, hunchback because of the stupid Thunderbolt 20. Alright, what do we get here? Light PPC, we got like nothing here. Ah, really? Another AMS. 
one defense. Um, we do need cores though. XL engine, light engine. I don't go for XLs generally because, um, well, I mean, it's a lot of C-bills, but I don't go for them because if you lose a torso, you lose the mech, and you never know when you're going to lose a torso, right? Last thing you want to do is lose the mech. Artemis system, TTS energy, we don't have any of those either. Uh, no specialty ammo. Ah, I don't know. ECMs, do we have any? We got one. We just picked up one. Hmm. So I don't really, s I mean, tags. Super useful at 510 meter rage. Even the AMS. You know what though, I think we're gonna take a core. I think that's what we're gonna do. Let's confirm this. So light PPC, bunch of LRMs, medium laser double plus, okay, not bad. SRM6 streak, we got the streak. And then junk. Okay. Steiner lost a couple planets, 47,000 in repairs in 14 days. Not too bad overall. Um, so we got enough for the financial report um, and some repairs. Probably have enough to start thinking about what we're going to do with the Jaeger mech. Um, let's manage our tasks a bit here and see what we got days-wise. Catapult, uh, the Bushwhacker can move up. Eh, we want the Catapult in though. So let's do this. So these all finish in 10 days. And then, so 15 days, these will all be back. That's pretty good. So what we'll do between episodes is we're going to jump to a new planet. And when we come back for our next episode, we'll be at the next planet. Our mechs will be repaired and we'll be ready to go again. Hopefully... Um, we could take some good missions, get some good stuff. We're heading on, the, we're on our way to the clans right now. I'm thinking we're, I'm kind of getting into a balance now where um, we're okay sea bill wise. We're not really struggling to make our sea bills now. And we can start doing some different layouts in our mechs. Slowly gaining some of the stuff we need, ECMs and things like that. So we'll be applying those to our mechs as we go along. So yeah, we're going to end the episode here. If you'd like to drop a like, if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Also, drop some comments in the comments section down below. Uh, if you have any suggestions, that would be great. And until next time, we'll see you all later.